Our original grant was led by um, a couple of our teachers who made sure that our stream philosophy was bred throughout and a lot of science and technology and engineering went into that along with literature. Well, I came up with it a couple of years ago because I read the book The Memory Boy by Will Weaver. And in the book, it talks about a boy who has to make a vehicle to travel from the cities to northern Minnesota. But because of the events in the story, he is unable to use fuel or the regular normal modes of transportation. He has to create a vehicle that uses wind power and pedal power based on a bike. And so I thought the kids could use that idea to come up with a vehicle and use some of our some of their science, engineering, and knowledge to build a vehicle. Well, Frasati is a stream school, so what we talked about as a staff, as a middle school staff, was that we would try to incorporate a curriculum that hit all areas of our studies. So we took a look at what each group could do, science, technology, religion, engineering, art, and math, and how to incorporate that in. What we decided was that we would each kind of create a curriculum that fit that topic or fit something within the book and then we would coordinate a time that we would all do it together. Pretty much by January we were all working on the science part of it which was our wind tubes and our testing of materials for the vehicles that coordinated with the book. We talked about how we would incorporate the math with it and what kinds of math concepts fit with the wind and the the weights and the different speeds and things like that that we would work on. To integrate like this is huge and it's a very cutting edge concept to bring a stream school like this into fruition and it takes time and money by all people involved and I think that the grant kind of is an impetus to do that. Academy of Whole Learning is the only private school in Minnesota who specializes in working with students who are on the autism spectrum disorder or with related um, learning disabilities. So we just have this whole school full of these exceptional children and that makes us quite special. So we received a starter grant a few years ago and then just this year we received our third STEM grant. So that has been amazing. So the biggest thing for us is the hands-on learning. Um, it's so key to our population here at Academy of Whole Learning. So we start with some background knowledge. So right now we're doing simple machines. So we're doing a motion unit. So they're learning about motion. So And then once we have that uh, background knowledge, we build on that through the experience of the kids. And what you might see is they start off really simple. So with one or two kind of components to their chain reaction. And then, okay, now you're understanding this more, you're able to see it and apply some new skills that we're learning. You know, so putting in um, an elevator that uses a pulley system, whereas maybe before at the start that was a little too challenging. So we see them grow through the kits and kind of grow through the unit um, and pulling in all of their knowledge from different areas as well. First for us is for them to be able to gain the confidence that they can succeed. And these kits have allowed our students to gain confidence that they would not have had without it. And because of that, just think next year what they're going to be able to do with next year's STEM grant. They're going to be able to go on and do more and do much bigger things. Kate has this uncanny ability to see into the future, to know what her kids need and to know what they need to accomplish that. So I think writing that grant, I think she had that vision in her mind when she wrote it. We're such a small school, but our kids have a STEM focus. Their, their minds are focused on STEM activities. And to be able to access STEM kits through um, the MISF grant has just really enabled us to offer this incredible curriculum for our students. Christa Ray is a private Catholic school in South Minneapolis. We serve 90% free and reduced lunch. Um, we have 488 students in grades 9 through 12 and we serve students that are in college also. More than 90% of our graduates are the first in their family to go to college and over 50% are actually the first in their family to graduate from high school. Our after school group is the Ignatian Carbon Club and, uh, and we've been wanting to get something going around recycling and those types of things because that's what the students are interested in and it also helps them in their jobs. So we have 
Our students work at corporate jobs throughout the Twin Cities and uh, many of them work in engineering firms and uh, in other places that, uh, that science is the priority at the company and this helps them to develop their skills that they can then use in the workplace while they're in high school. Some of the projects that we've worked on or what we're working on now for example are looking for uh, ways to pull items out of the waste stream like milk cartons and, and all kinds of just materials that might just get thrown in the trash and finding a way to repurpose them. So for instance we've done things like Christmas decorations um, using you know plastic forks and spoons. Our school has really only recycled paper and cardboard. There's so many other things that are in the waste stream that we that we knew that we could be recycling. So we have through the work of this group now increased from I think we were at 15 pounds a day now we're up to 50 pounds a day and that's by just educating our you know the, our community and um, the kids have developed signage and put bins in strategically placed locations. We really just tapped into something that was already there. Kids are passionate about the environment and, and they really didn't have an outlet for that. And we have kids who um, are looking for ser service opportunities and ways to serve the community. So it was really just a matter of you know, letting our act activities director know that we were starting this. And then you know, we'd, made, we'd make announcements and through the regular channels. And then that's how kids became involved. These grants, it always helps to have a, a, little, uh, a little extra money to do projects and initiatives that may, that when the students dream, it gets them closer to what they dream about. You know, at first they dream about going to the moon, <laughs> and uh, this helps them to at least, uh, helps them to at least uh, reach part of that dream.